Welcome, this is the Integrated Math 2 practice test for the 10 Ready test or TCAP test. This is subpart 2, so calculators are allowed. Uh, I don't know if I said it, but this is question number 11. I'm pretty sure I did. A support wire is attached to the top of an antenna. The support wire connects to the ground 15 feet from the bottom. The support wire and the ground meet at an angle with, 70, with a measure of 70 degrees, as shown. They give you a nice picture and everything. Uh, to the nearest foot, what is the height of the antenna? So the thing is it's difficult to tell what the answer is if it wasn't a right triangle but it is a right triangle since we are given one side and one angle and we want to know about the other one this looks like a perfect situation to use one of the trigonometric functions if we had used um, the or if they given us two sides we need a third side in a right triangle then you're looking at using Pythagorean theorem but in here I'm either going to use sine cosine or tangent. Now years ago when I was in school they taught me that uh, the old aardvark sat on Henry's coat and hat which helped me figure out that sine is opposite over hypotenuse see why I popped out for a minute and wrote all that down because it takes me forever uh, coat and hat, which would mean cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent, the old aardvark would be opposite over adjacent. Now based on this question, the hypotenuse is not in use at all, so this is not a sine question, it's not a cosine, it's a tangent question. So I'm going to say tangent, and since I'm looking for a side length and not an angle, it's not inverse tangent. So tangent of 70 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which would be the antenna. So antenna, I'm not going to write antenna, just ant, over adjacent, which is 15 feet. So this is actually a pretty easy one to solve. By the way, make sure that you identify things in the correct order. So I always draw a line directly across, like I just kind of try to fly a plane out of the angle that would so it doesn't hit any of the sides. That's the opposite side, the one that it strikes, even though this is really badly drawn here. Um, and the one next to it, adjacent just means next to. So if the it's not the hypotenuse and it's making the angle, then it's the adjacent side. It's kind of like the other one. So in this case, um, unlike some problems, you have to pay close attention. Writing this step down is a big deal because it tells me to solve it in order to get rid of divide by 15, I need to do times 15 on both sides. That's not always the case. The most missed questions in these types of problems would be ones where you have tangent of x and then say you're given 5 on top and um, adjacent on the bottom. I guess that wouldn't work. I need to do a specific number, otherwise this doesn't make any sense. So tangent, let's just use 70 again. If it had had the 15 on top, you don't multiply just by x and get your answer. So what most people do when they miss this type of problem is they uh, just multiply whatever the 15 is by the 70, but that's not what it's saying. In this case, you'd have to do times x, and you'd end up getting tangent 70 times x, and then you have to divide by tangent 70. So your real problem would be 15 divided by tangent Seventy. That would be the problem that you figured out to get x. So really, for me, if the variable term that I'm trying to find is on the bottom, I simply switch these two around. So this would just move over here, and this moves over here, and it becomes x is equal to fifteen divided by tangent seventy. So if that's the case. It's not the case down here, so it doesn't matter. More people will get this problem right than would otherwise because it's set up in the way that's so easy. So let's just do tangent 70 times 15. Now, if you're using something like a T84, 
or whatever, or any sort of graphing calculator that does this or scientific, make sure that before you do anything else, you go into the mode and change it to degrees because you'll get a really weird answer if you do radians and then it will be wrong. The question identifies itself as being in degrees by putting a degree sign there or saying 70 degrees. So you have to work in the correct mode. So let's quit out of that. Tangent 70. And like I said, to get rid of divide by 15, you want to do the opposite operation, so times 15. And you get your final answer of 41 point lots of numbers in a row. But the question specifically asks you to write your answer to the nearest foot. So my final answer for this question is the antenna. is equal to 41 feet, approximately, more or less. So there you go. Easy peasy. Um, the big deal here is to know, so I guess if you're going back to review stuff for this, make sure you have some way to remember what sine, cosine, and tangent are. Make sure you write out this first step when you're working these types of problems, and make sure you put your calculator into degrees mode if it's in degrees or if you're doing a question that involves radians put it in radians so that's it